Good day. Happy 2014. Let's start this year off right. Before I share with you my techniques for creating a design comp, responsive design web comp using one of my favorite applications, Adobe Illustrator, to create comps for Dreamweaver or web design, responsive design, using the golden ratio of how to basically do effective, great design using DaVinci's timeless uh, golden rule. Uh, actually, it's credited to a couple of people, but DaVinci is one of the people that use it as well, and he built the Mona Lisa. So before we do that, I just want a little PSA here, share with you that Udemy is now having a 70% off sale until January 7th at midnight California time. Now, if you get my all access pass, I have a better deal. How about 75% off? So my course, my all access course, which you get every single piece of software that I teach. I'm also going to be teaching some guitar lessons, strangely enough. I taught myself the guitar over the summer and I'm so good at it that I'm going to share my techniques with you. That's included in the course too, if you're a guitar player. Um, so you're going to get all my courses for life, free one-time access. You'll get free updates and new courses edit every month. Okay, so it's a lifetime investment. The course bundle is normally $15.99. You can get it now until January 7th for $3.99, which is 75% off. There's a link down at the bottom that you can click and get that. Now, if you go to this part of Udemy, which is a, an entire collection of all my courses, all my 36 current courses, right now you get 70% off on any single course as well by putting in the code start today. Start today with, there's two T's in there for those of you that are uh, typographically or uh, grammatically challenged. <laughs> So start today, give you 70% off on, on any of my courses. I'll include the link for that too. Now let's roll up our sleeves, crack our knuckles, have a beverage, and experience how I'm going to share with you such a powerful technique, things that you're going to be blown out of the water over, of using Adobe Illustrator to create your responsive design comps and get all your percentages correct. So watch this. Welcome. What I'm about to share with you is probably going to blow most of you out of the water because it's, I'm going to share with you a technique that's going to make it so incredibly simple to basically design using the golden ratio. It's a timeless ratio that's been used to build everything from the pyramids to da Vinci's models to the Mona Lisa. In fact, if you look at the distance between your wrist knuckle and your middle thumb and it's between your fingers, that's basically broken down to the golden ratio. So you actually find it in nature. You find it in sunflowers. You find it in, you find it in shells. It's really a fascinating study in negative space and working with proper design elements. As an example, Twitter uses the golden ratio design. It's been, the Twitter interface is proportionally set up using the golden ratio. So I'm going to share with you techniques of how to use this to benefit from design. In this particular case, web design, but it could be used for print design or any type of design that you're doing. So if you simply do a Google search for golden ratio design, you'll get a lot of cool things here. Most of the things are going to be very confusing to you. My objective today is to share and break it down for you of how to actually use a simple 1.618 formula. Think about that and write that down. Get that into your head. 1.618. And I'm going to share with you how this works. Now, if you go to the Wikipedia Golden Ratio, there's a lot of stuff in here that's going to really confuse the heck out of you. So now let's go into Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to share with you how to do web comps using the same design for iPad, for Galaxy, for iPhone, for responsive design for your full screen web. Website. So watch this. Roll up your sleeves, crack your knuckles, have a beverage, and let's get started. Okay, since we're working with Adobe Illustrator and we're working with web design, we want to work with pixels. So I'm just going to call this Design Comp 1 as opposed to Design Comp 2, etc. etc. And this is going to be set up in pixel width. We're going to make the pixel width of this 960 pixels by 720 pixels. And I'm just picking that as a number to start and hit the return key. Okay. Now, first thing, of course, I want to do is save the file. So file save. Let's just put this on our desktop and just call this design comp. I'm going to put this in a folder for good practice. Client comp. Spelling sometimes helps. Version 1. Okay. Now. This is such great stuff. This is really powerful stuff that's going to make a total genius. Your, your boss, your fellow co-workers are going to say, where did you learn this? All right. Now, the way that I use Illustrator, I've been using Illustrator since 1987, going on 27 years. Uh, actually, in a couple of months, I started using it 
in uh, February of, or actually March of 87. So it'll be 27 years shortly. Hard to believe. All right, now the way I set up Illustrator is this. I first of all hit the A key. The A key will select the direct selection tool. From this point going forward, any tool I select, I can now go back to the direct selection tool simply by hitting the command key. So as an example, if I want to create a rectangle, that's the M key. M for rectangle. Now, why is M for rectangle? Well, because R is for rotation. Now, keep in mind that the rectangle tool creates rectangles, but it doesn't select. So if you want to select, simply hold down the command key or the control key for Windows and select the object. You have to keep the key held down, by the way, as long as you're selecting it, let go of your mouse first. Okay, now here's what I want to be able to do. I want to create a golden ratio design that basically is based on the 1.618. Now, so as you have a reference here, I'm going to hit the T for typing tool and type in 1.618. And I'm just going to select all, Command Shift greater than, and I'm just going to increase the size of that. Command Shift greater than, Control Shift greater than, hold on the Command key, and I'm just going to put this right up here on the top right. Just as a reference point. In fact, let's put it out here on the pasteboard so we don't get, uh, so it doesn't interfere with us. Now, how Illustrator works, Illustrator is an object-based program. Anything about the object is under the object menu. So based on these choices, object lock, I can lock that selected object. Command 2, Macintosh, Control 2 for Windows. Command, a, Command S, make a change, save a change. Now here's what I want to share with you. I'm going to create a simple rectangle. I'm going to go to the M key again. I'm going to create a rectangle that looks just like this. Okay. Now, this rectangle can be any rectangle. But what I want to share with you is how I can create a golden ratio rectangle. Now, what I'd like to do, since I have a choice of colors here, I'm just going to pick a different color to make this a little bit more visually pleasing. Okay. Now, in order to make this technique work here, I need to have some properties up here. So I'm going to go to the window menu, and I'm going to pick my transformation properties, which brings up this palette here. The alignment palettes in here, the pathfinder palettes in here, and the transformation palettes in here. Now what this does is this tells me uh, the X and Y positioning. Now by default, something you're going to want to have to change here, I want to measure everything from the top left-hand corner. So I'm going to click right there, so everything will now be measured from the top left-hand corner. So we're going to take this number, it doesn't matter what number this is, we're going to take this number and we're going to multiply it times 1.618, which is our little number up in here. Now, keep in mind something. I don't want to have do it to this one. I want to do it to one that looks like this one. So the simplest way to do this is in the Edit menu to Copy, Command-C, and Paste in back, Command-B. Now, just because we can, we're just going to change the color of that. You won't be able to see it right now because it's behind. So the one that's in the back, we're going to take this number right here and times 1.618. And just like that, I have my golden ratio. Okay, now keep in mind that these are, this is an object behind the object. So my objective here is I don't want to make these an object on top of another object. I basically want to divide these objects up. So in order to affect the objects, I need to select the objects. Command A selects all. With Pathfinder Selector, if I click right here, I can divide the objects. And I'm going to click right there, and now I have two separate objects. Now you might ask, well, wait a second. Well, what does all that mean? What is that 1.618? How do I know that's really the golden ratio? Okay. Well, the golden ratio is based on a factor of 1.68, either dividing or multiplying by. So if you want to be down in size, you divide it by 1.618. If you want one that's proportionally the size plus, then it's basically times 1.618. So what does all this mean? How is this going to help us when I'm basically designing a web page? Well, watch this. Let's start over again. I'm going to select all and hit the delete key. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take a rectangle. I'm going to make the rectangle as big as I can to fit in this space right there. Now notice I made a perfect rectangle. Okay. We're also known as a square. So I'm going to do that same scenario. It doesn't matter what the size of this is, by the way. And if I happen to be a pixel off, that's fine for right now. So I'm going to take that same number. I'm going to copy, Command-C, copy. Paste it back, Command-B, Control-B, Windows. And just because I can, I'm going to just change the color to the, of that something else there. So you can actually see there's one on the back here. If I have the Shift key, you'll see there's, there's one on the back. See that? Okay. 
we're going to take this one n times times 1.618 and there's your golden ratio now notice that the golden ratio kind of went off the page here so what i can now do is select all go to the scale tool pick a point to scale from and simply hold down the shift key and scale down so that proportionally fits inside the size of my web design now keep in mind for responsive design i'm concerned about the width of my site not the height of my site the width of my device the width of my iphone the width of my ipad the width of my galaxy 500 etc etc now to share with you that this really is that golden ratio Keep in mind, back in the day, they didn't have calculators, but they had different tools. So you could basically create this golden ratio the same way using a circle and a square. And I'll demonstrate that. So if you want to build this from scratch, what you would do, I'll start this over again. We're going to start with a rectangle holding down the shift key. Now I'm going to basically deselect holding down the command key, select a different color. So you select a different color outside here. I'm going to go to the ellipse tool and using smart guides if you have your smart guides on under the view menu it defaults to that but if not i'm going to basically click right there holding down the option key and the shift key and i'm going to create a circle just so it touches the outside of my ellipse here now i can't see that so i'm just going to zoom out for a second so i can see this a little bit better so i'm going to create an ellipse down here at the bottom holding down the option key and the shift key and i'm going to bring that ellipse so it basically goes to the outside corner of the rectangle right there okay now i'm going to basically send this backwards so object arrange set backwards so it's in the back of it All right now to demonstrate that what i did before was part of the 1.618 ratio i'm going to create another rectangle so i'm going to go to my m4 rectangle tool i'm going to go to rectangle but i'm not going to go outside of that circle area right there and i'm just going to give this a different color just so you can actually see what's happening so you can actually use a circle because that has the proportions you're basically dragging the circle from the bottom and this gives you 1.618 ratio now to prove that that's true i'm going to take this copy command c paste in back command b control b and then take that number times 1.618 and you'll see that it's right on the money okay pretty cool so now what does all this mean in reference to web design well we're now going to basically build that web design using percentages because responsive design uses percentages. So I'm going to basically undo this. Actually, I'm going to pause the uh, video for a second and set this back up for you. So in essence, what we have here is a perfectly proportioned using the 168 ratio, 960 wide, 960 responsive design. Now, if you wanted to bring this into a program like Dreamweaver, which of course you'd want to do, you want to be able to deal with percentages. Well, this is going to be kind of a tough road because this is in pixels and this is a wacky number 5.9, 3.325, and this one over here is 3.6.675, 366. I mean, that kind of thing is going to hurt your head. So here's one of the things we can do. We can either round everything off to 1,000 or 100 because all percentages are based on 100. So 99, 98, 97. So what we can do here is we can select this and change this whole thing, the whole shebang here. We're going to change that to be uh, 100 pixels wide. Now you might say, well, what, what do you mean 100 pixels wide? What does that have to do with it? Well, now that this is basically a percentage of 100, and you got to really put on your thinking cap for this. So if I bring this into Dreamweaver and I want to set up CSS rules for this particular div tag or this particular HTML5 tag, it would be 61.8%. Very simple. This one would be 38.195%. Now you can really deal with those little fraction of percentage because it all adds up to 100%. Now if you want to go ahead and round this off to 40%, if you want to make this one 60%, well, then you could do that too because 60 and 40 makes 100 now, for more complex design, this might get very small and tedious. So what you may consider then doing is changing this back to 1,000. Okay, and then what you would have to do here is just move the decimal point over. So you move the decimal point over one point. So this would be 61.8. That's how math works for those of you that slept through fourth grade math class. So this is a very successful way of how I can get the golden ratio working in my design. Okay, now that takes care of going this direction. I'm going to undo that so it goes back to 960. 
Okay, but what if I wanted to now do something like this? What if I wanted to do uh, a sidebar on the left and a sidebar on the right using the 1.68 ratio? So how would I do that? Well, let's start back at 960. Now, keep in mind, again, you have to mod, you have to basically count from the top left-hand corner. That's 0, 0 on your page. So this is that 960. So here's what I want to be able to do. Okay, I want to take and basically have a sidebar on the left and a sidebar on the right that falls under the 1.68 ratio. So once again, I can take this object, copy it, paste it back, Command B, Control B under the Edit menu. And the one that's in the back, we're actually now going to divide because we already have our full size. So before we multiplied by 1.618, so now we're basically backtracking, we have our full size, we can now divide by 1.618. And that's going to give us this, which is basically exactly where we started out. But before we just abstractly started out with a rectangle, you can actually start out with your finished piece and then just use division, because of course division is the opposite of subtraction. So this is in front of that. So I want to take this object, the range, send that to the back. And then I don't want these to be one piece. I want to divide that so I can select in order to affect any of the select. Go to my Pathfinder and simply divide that. Now, in order to get my sidebar over here, I can basically do the same thing. So I'm going to select this, Command C, Command B. The one that's in the back, I can now divide that by divide by 1.618. And just like that. So this one, I'm just going to change the color. Okay, so now I have two objects here, and I'm going to do the same thing with Pathfinder. So I'm going to send this to the back, object at range, send to the back, and now I'm going to divide those out. So there's my 1.68 ratio. Now, again, I wanted two sidebars, so what I can do is move this sidebar over to the left, and this will be my main content here in the center. Pretty cool. So this could be mixed and matched a variety of different ways, and then you can basically take everything back to 1,000% or 100%, whatever you feel more comfortable doing. So if you change this whole thing to 1,000 pixels wide, that's going to give you your percentages. Okay. So this inside of Dreamweaver would be what? This would be 23.62%, this would be 38.22%, and this would also be 38.22% uh, because basically those are the same. Now again, responsive design has to do with the width of a device, not necessarily the height of a device. Now I want to also share with you something very, very powerful, working with a grid system inside of Illustrator to basically get your divide, your, your design ratio inside of Dreamweaver for your responsive design or mobile apps or whatever it is that you're building. So let's go back to building a 960. So we're going to take this whole thing, nine, so I have to get that right on the money there. Okay, now watch this. Here's what I want to be able to do. And this is really probably going to blow you out of the water if you haven't seen my video on this before. Okay, Illustrator enables you to do all the work. So here's what I want to be able to do. I'm going to go to the object menu because anything about the object is under the object menu. That's how Illustrator works. Illustrator, Flash, InDesign, or object-based programs because they're vector-based or scalable vector graphics. So based on these choices, object, path and I'm going to go to path and split into grid. Okay, now this is really, really cool. Now, what I'd like to have happen, I want to have a 12 grid ratio. So I want to have a total of five rows. So I'm going to say five rows divided by with a gutter width of 20 pixels. And that's just a standard gutter width for 20 pixels. 20 pixels is basically standard for the width or the height, the columns or the rows of a particular grid system. And I want this grid to be 12 pixels across, and I want this also to be 20 pixels. Now, if you hit the preview menu, you're going to get something like this happening. And then your head's going to fall off your shoulders, going to go, what do I do with that? Well, watch this. This is really, really cool stuff. Again, my objective is to use an Illustrator to create a responsive design, something that has flow, something that has grid meaning to it. Okay, so watch this. I can now say, all right, I want to make this whole section up here my header. So I can go back to my grid system, object, path, 
split into grid, and I want this to go back to where it was. So I hit the tab key, make that one again, and that's back to one whole unit. Pretty cool. I think that's really, really cool. Okay, this section here, let's say we want to make this a slideshow. So in order to affect this, the objects, I need to select the objects. Object. Now on my full course, by the way, I share with you how to set up shortcut keys for this. I'm not doing this in this free video. This is more of a teaser to share with you how simple I make things in my All Access Pass. And of course, this particular course is part of my All Access Pass. Now you can get on Udemy right now, it's having a 70% off sale. So you can get the Illustrator course or the Dreamweaver course for 70% off. But since it's such a great value for $3.99, you get my All Access Pass. And I highly suggest you do that if you're serious about making money in 2014. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to make this, okay. Now, here's where it gets really cool. For this, I want to break this up into two different sections. So I want to make this, I want this to be uh, two columns. So I can go back to object, path, split into grid, and we're going to make this row fine, but columns two and divided by 20 pixels. And just like that. How cool is that? Because maybe I want to put some maybe uh, advertising or maybe my my um, newsletter information. Now for here, what I want to do here is I want to divide this up into two rows. So the same thing, object, path, split into grid. And for rows, I want to have two separated by 20 pixels. And for columns, I don't want to have any columns, so I get something like that. How cool is that? Okay, now this information down here is going to be my footer, so I can just select that, go to the object menu, path again, split into grid, and just change that, hit the tab key, and change that back into one full piece. Okay, so I can divide, subdivide any way that I choose. Now what's really cool about this, if I take the whole thing and I bring that back out to a thousand, because that's what my percentages are based on, then I can go into Dreamweaver, and this is really simple because this is just going to be 100%, 100%. But that this would be what? This would be 27.62% plus the 20 pixels in between. Okay, now here's where it gets a little dicey. How do I deal with pixels and percentages? Okay, how would I do that? Well, a very simple way to do that is whole number math. So 20 pixels is what percentage of 960? Well, Here's a very simple formula. I could basically make this back into 960. I'm going to turn that back into 960. Okay. Then I'm going to take my 20 pixels. Actually, let's do this for a second. I'm just going to make a grid. That's actually let's do this. Let's do let's do. I was actually trying to make this visual. It might be simpler to do this with a calculator. But I'm going to make this 20 pixels wide. And 20 divided by the larger number divided by 960, and basically it's 2%. So 20 pixels is 2% in the, the percentage width of a particular column. So if you want to go 20% wide, that'd be 2% per column. So if you're going to have something like this going on, this would be 2% and 2%. So when you make your um, percentages inside of Dreamweaver for your div tags or HTML5 tags, you would compensate this 20 pixels for 2%. As we just discovered, that if you take 9, 20%, 20 divided by 960, you take your smaller number divided by your larger number, that's how you get percentages. And that's going to tell you the percentage of whatever you have there. So these are just really cool techniques. And of course, I go into great detail in my all access course one step at a time. I'm here to help you every step of the way. Udemy has a great system because not only can you take notes right next to the video that you're watching, you can also click and send me a message or a question and I respond very responsive to my students. My success, or actually I should say, your success is my success. So take advantage of the 70% off sale that ends January 7, 2014, 12 o'clock midnight Pacific Standard Time, that's California time. Or of course you can get my all access pass for $3.99. Now I highly suggest you do that. For those of you out there that are saying, oh, well, you know, why am I going to spend $400 and get all this stuff for free? Well, if you're not making money watching free videos, let me know how that's working out for you. Okay. If you're serious about learning things the correct way, benefit from my 27 years of doing this stuff, 
guys and gals, boys and girls, people from New Jersey. I'm here to help you every step of the way, but you need to help yourself. And I will share with you something very important for 2014. There are no free lunches. There's no free lunch. I respect people that want to help themselves. You support me, I support you with my knowledge, my techniques, and my guidance that will help to make a better software user front of you. Thank you for being here. My name is Robert Farrell. Please enjoy your day. Do something nice for somebody in your neighborhood today because I just did something nice for you. Click the link in the bottom for a full access, all access course for 75% off or go to the other link to get any of the courses for 70% off which expires January 7th. Thank you very much for being here. Have a good 2014.